Right, drawing scatter graphs, particularly looking at lines of best fit. So I've got my graph paper and here's my results table that I'm going to use. And I've got a ruler and a pencil. Now just to make it easier to follow the video, I'm going to use a pen instead of pencil. So first thing I'm going to do is draw myself my y-axis and my x-axis across. And then I'm going to do my scale markers. So I'm going to add some scale markers on here using the lines on the graph. Next I'm going to label my axes. So the dependent variable, which is always in the right hand column of the table, goes on the y axis. So time taken for salt to dissolve and the units in brackets are seconds. The x axis we always put the independent variable, the thing we're changing, this is in the left hand column. So temperature of water and the units for that are degrees Celsius. So there we go, I've labelled my axes. So next I need to put some numbers on my scales, on my scale marker. So for temperature of water, the smallest number I've got is 5 and the biggest is 78. So I need to get to just above 78. I want to spread my scale as wide as possible so my graph is easier to read. And I want my scale to go up in a linear fashion. So from smallest to biggest and in even jumps. I've already put my scale markers even distances, the same distances apart. So I'm going to go up in fives. So zero, five, two. Next, for my y-axis, I need to just plot the average data, the mean average. So that's this column here. Remember, these columns are repeats for reliability. So I'm just plotting this. So I need to go from 42 to 127. So I think if I go up in tens, that will work fine. I could continue up, I don't need to. Okay, next I need to plot my data. So 5 and 127, so up 5, up to 127. Each of these represents 2, so it's going to be halfway there. And I use an X, the middle of my X marking the point. So for the line of best fit, you can see that I've plotted my points and they show a pattern going down this way. And it's pretty much a straight line. So instead of joining the x's x to x to x to x to x, instead of doing that, I'm going to do a line of best fit. So I can see it's a straight line, so I'm going to use a ruler. And I'm using a different colour just so it shows up better for you. So I put my ruler on and I try and find where the general pattern is going as best possible. So it's about there. And then I draw my line of best fit. And you can see that that shows the general pattern, but it doesn't go through every single point but it's through the middle of the points. So these two above the line cancel out the distances from these two here. So it's just showing the general pattern. So that's a line of best fit on scatter graphs.